Hi everyone, I'm one of the security engineers over at Rack Foundry. Today I'm going to be going through a quick demonstration showing how easy it is to fully deploy and configure the TSM solution all within minutes. Now what I'm going to be installing today is a VMware 6.0 image. Um, so pretty much what we'll be doing is providing you with the OVA file that you can install directly on a VM. It'll walk you through the configuration steps. From there you can set up your network, start to detect your assets, and monitor your environment effectively. Now, to get started here, the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is sign into ESXi, and you can see that you can create a VM. So I'm going to go in and click to deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or an OVA file. You can click Next. Now I'm going to name the TSM system. I'm just going to call it TSM1. Then you can see that uh, I can actually select the file here. So I'm going to click and drag it from the desktop. When you do become a customer with Rack Foundry, we will send this over to you via a link. So once I select it, you can click Next, select the appropriate data store, click Next again. And then from here, you can select the appropriate network mappings. And then you can choose whether you'd like to utilize thin or thick disk provisioning. We recommend utilizing thin provisioning. Uh, the TSM VM is set up with a one terabyte disk image, but when thin provisioned, it utilizes under 20 gigabytes of space initially. So you can select that and then click on Next and click Finish, and this will actually download uh, and set up the TSM solution. Uh, this could typically take anywhere from you know, 10 to you know, 30 minutes, depending on the system you're installing it on. Uh, so I'm not going to you know, wait through that time. I actually have another system that's uh, you know, gotten past that point, so I'm going to move over to this one here. So TSM2 is a system that's already up and running. Now before I click on it and continue with the configuration, I'm going to first want to edit the settings. So clicking on edit, you'll be able to see that the default resources that have been allocated to the system are for virtual CPU count, as well as eight gigabytes of RAM. Now you're gonna to want to update this to the recommended requirements, which are eight virtual CPU count and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but if you don't have that available, uh, you can go with the bare minimum. Now you can click under save. And then once you click on this section, You'll see that it's asking you to click on setup. So I can go here and type in setup. And this will actually begin the initial setup window. So you can say it says, uh, Welcome to the initial configuration for your TSM appliance. If you configure this system as a security appliance only, then you will need to specify the IP address for your configured TSM console. Essentially, what that means is if you're looking to deploy the TSM solution, we have both consoles and also security modules. A module is any system that you might deploy out to uh, any of your remote locations. If you have maybe an environment in the cloud, that would be serving as a collector. And then it could also report back to the main console, which is where the correlation and the data storage would take place. Uh, so you can see once you click here, you can choose accept once you read the uh, end user license agreement and then you can choose whether it is a console or a security appliance. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to deploy a console. Now you can enter the host name for this appliance. Again, I'm just going to enter TSM1. You can enter the domain. I'm just going to include rackfoundry.com. Uh, you can also enter the management IP address. What I'm going to put in is an available IP, uh, 192.168.20.111. Now you can enter the management net mask. The management gateway. Management primary DNS and the DNS2, which I'm just going to put as 8.8.8. .8 all right, so then you just confirm that all the information that you've added is correct. And then this will allow you to enter the license key, which of course will provide to you if you're a customer of Rack Foundry. So I'm just going to type this in really quick here. Then you're going to want to make sure that everything you've entered is correct. All right, and then you click Enter. Uh, what this will do is uh, it'll first check to make sure that it's able to make a, a support link connection back to our SOC just for the troubleshooting and uh, monitoring capabilities. Uh, then it's actually going to receive the installer and it'll go through the configuration process. This might take about 30 minutes or so, so I'm not going to wait through this whole uh, section. I'm just going to fast forward to another solution that's uh, been installed. 
Now, essentially, uh, once you do have the system up and running, you can see, and I'm going to click on this one here. Once I do run this, you'll see something very similar to this. So I'll give you the uh, actual URL that you can go to to manage the appliance. Uh, for example, if I go in and click this into my web browser, you'll see something very similar to this. The first thing that you're going to want to do to start monitoring your environment is go over to the Dash Munition section. So what you're going to want to do here is add the location that you're at. Uh, for this, I'm just going to enter the location of one of our offices. Uh, I'll just call it main. I'm going to enter the uh, address here. I can easily click look up. And this will automatically detect the longitude and the latitude. You can say, uh, yes, this subnet is internal, and click add location. You can see that the location was successfully added. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go down to objects, and then click under networks. And this is where you can add the networks that you're looking to monitor. You can click under add network, then enter a name for the network. I'm just going to make mine main. You can choose a network type, I'm going to select IPv4. Then you can enter the definition. In this case, mine is just going to be 192.168.20.0. Then you can select the subnet mask, which would be 255.255.255.0. You can enter a description if you would like. And then you can select the location from here and then click Add Object. And this will automatically add the, uh, the network that you're looking to monitor. From there, you can very easily start picking up your network assets. Uh, so anything that's on the network that you know, has access to what you're scanning, would you know, anything that generates an IP address, right? So be your servers, uh, you know, firewalls, switches, uh, your workstations, if they are on that network, you'll automatically be able to pick them up utilizing a scheduled scan here. You can simply click Schedule Scan, uh, add a description for the scan. I'm just going to run uh, first scan. Choose the appliance you want to run it on. The targets, which is just going to be main, which is the network that I'm looking to scan. I'm going to choose one time scan and then click schedule scan here. Now you can see that I've successfully scheduled the scan. It says that it's pending. It's going to start running in about a minute now. But once it does complete, you'll automatically see your assets list being populated. Uh, from there, you can start to install agents, um, you can pull in logs into the solution. That's when you're really going to start to see data being gathered. So this concludes today's demonstration. I hope you all found this informative and are ready to deploy out the TSM solution to your environment so you can start monitoring your network today. Thank you.